Hello everyone, my name is Cody Kitchens and this is my final portfolio for TWC 411. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to note that this whole presentation was done on PowerPoint. Uh, in, you know, of course using the designs that I developed in Adobe Illustrator primarily. Uh, a little bit in uh, Photoshop, but most of the designs were completely done in Illustrator. As well as the theory that I used throughout the semester, uh, of course, like most people here, I did use Gestalt's theory of design, but specifically I used his laws of simplicity and his laws of symmetry. Of course, with simplicity stating that we as humans perceive complex objects in the simplest form, and with his law of symmetry stating that we as human beings tend to perceive designs in a sub symmetrical way already. So without further ado, we can kind of take a look at exactly how that theory worked into my design system. So you'll see uh, these are just the refs from my personal logo. You'll see even in the base stage, uh, is heavily using both simplicity and symmetry. Uh, that that went on into my comps as well, and of course the final that I ended up using as well. Uh, I kept this uh, really simplistic black and white um, typewriter logo because I felt it really communicated who I was as a person a little bit easier than some of the other designs I came up with. And in the color design that I chose, I really wanted to go with uh, kind of a very simplistic and symmetrical design that also had just a splash of color that really kind of emphasized the, the stark nature of the logo itself. So you'll see the look that I got here was basically a corrected uh, page that you'll see on any of your assignments uh, with the editing mark being in a stark red and the background being a uh, offset gray much like most of the computer paper that we're familiar with. Uh, moving on to module three, I believe, was the typography section, and we did the posters. You'll see in all the roughs uh, that those two laws of both symmetry and simplicity were paramount in all of these designs. Uh, specifically in the ones that I chose to develop into comps, you'll see that uh, I really tried to keep every single design symmetrical with simplistic bits that are easy to read. Uh, I really loved, ended up loving that uh, design on the left, so much so that I also developed that as well as the one on the right for my final. Of course, I only chose the one on the right for my final, uh, my final design, uh, but you'll see uh, slide that I ended up developing both for print um, specifically because I do believe the design on the right used typography a little bit more effectively uh, with the different uh, the upside down design uh, wording but also because I do feel like that is the better balanced design uh, some of the changes I made on the initial final presentation that I gave on this poster, uh, well, of course, you'll see I got rid of the outline on the background, but also the uh, weighty text boxes. And instead of using that Western font, I ended up going for just a really simple blocky impact text to kind of offset the uh, center design and its typography and also just to give the entire uh, design of the poster a uh, up and down symmetry as well as the corner symmetry that you'll see in all four corners. So moving on to the website redesign module, here you can see my roughs. Uh, nothing crazy here, but you'll see in the comps I developed them a little bit more uh, once again, keeping symmetry and simplicity paramount in all of these designs. You'll see in number three, it got a little bit more simplistic 
And then in number five, that was probably my simplest one, but I ended up loving it so much that it became my final design. Uh, once again, just a simplistic design, symmetrical as well, um, gives the reader a very even keel sense, almost like you can see each individual element in its own separate box. Moving on to the color brochures, I really played around a lot with symmetry on this one specifically. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit in the roughs, but you'll see it uh, a little bit more developed in the comps. Uh, some of the things that you'll see was using symmetry uh, not only in all the individual double gate folded uh, sections, but also in the headings. Uh, obviously the inside you're opening it up like a book so you want symmetry to read across all of those so in this one we went for that uh, not as clear and concise as I would have liked uh, I ended up really liking uh, the symmetry and the simplicity in this comp uh, but ended up choosing the next one as my final just because I really liked how this one on the outside uses that double gate fold to its advantage uh, using the main design of the orange and the logo of secondary only on the color wheel which I was proud of that probably <laughs> to my detriment uh, I did end up making some changes to the final design uh, some of the feedback that I got was that I should incorporate more actual orange into the design instead of just blues. Uh, so I ended up doing that for some of the headings. You'll see still trying to keep symmetry, uh, specifically on the inside. You'll see how the headings and tones and samples create a diag diagonal symmetry as well as the blue headings do as well. And uh, even more so on the outside now, uh, I feel like the, both the back and the front would pop a little bit more. Uh, with that being said, that is basically my portfolio for this semester. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and have a good day.